Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is, I'm gonna talk to you guys how torsion sprains work. All right guys, so here we go. All right guys, so guys, do you see these torsion sprains? So guys, they are connected to a steel rod with a wheel with a cable that connects to the bottom of your door. And when you guys, when you run your garage door opener, the, when you, the cable goes up and that wheel right up there, it turns and when it turns, guys, the cable goes up and around the wheel. So, guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see some cable there. See, it will go around the wheel like that. And, guys, same thing for that wheel over there. We have two wheels with two cables connected on each end of the 16-inch, but I don't know, by 16 by 7 garage door opener. All right, guys, and these torsion springs here, they look like regular springs. When you first buy them, they're droopy, but when you install them, they're like that. So guys, that's because they're installed, and when you guys install them, you guys gotta make sure they're tight so that they clamp onto this, um, the rod that will help that is connected to the garage door, which the rod, the torsion springs, guys, they assist the garage door opener. They don't assist this, but that right there, guys, helps the torsion spring because the, the oh, when this trolley is moving, that arm is connected to the garage door, and when the arm's pulling the door, and it's holding by these, um, those tracks that when the door goes up right here, those things start turning. All right, guys? So when you guys operate your garage door, your torsion springs will turn two different directions. One turn will head this way. The other turn will go that way. So guys, when you, if you guys have seen my other videos, um, so guys, the, the lubrication that's in the torsion spring, they go around there. And when the door's all the way up where it's supposed to be, you guys will see like a spiral in it. That's because the lubrication that's in the spring is working to keep the, the springs from making all the squeaking noise like from my previous videos. And guys, I did, and I'm sure you guys seen the video of how to lubricate your, um, your garage door opener. I, I, I did record that along pre, in my previous videos. All right guys, so now I'm gonna open this garage door so you guys can see what happens to the lubrication and so you guys can see the torsion springs turning a little bit. All right, so here we go. Okay guys, so did you just see the uh, torsion spring turning that way? So guys, when the door goes down, the torsion spring will turn this way. All right, and look guys, do so you see the, the torsion spring lubrication has like a spiral in it? That's because when the door goes up, it will keep the door from making the noise when it is turning, when the lubrication turns with the torsion spring. All right, and guys, when the door is going down, the lubrication spiral will go away. That's because the torsion spring is turning a different direction than going up. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna, so I'm gonna show you what the, the, the lubrication looks like when the door is down. All right, so here we go. So guys, do you see the difference between when the door's up and the door's down? So guys, the, tor the spiral and the torsion spring is not there. That's because the door went a different direction than going up. All right, and guys, like I said, the torsion springs use kinetic and potential energy, and the torsion springs, they, they store the energy, that way they have power to lift the door up or strength. And guys, they turn two different directions, that way they can help the door go down or go up, whatever you guys need it. All right, guys. So, guys, that is pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoy. And the next video I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how extension springs work. And I'm hoping to release that on Monday. All right, guys. So, that's when I'm going to release it, guys. All right. So, please like, hit the red subscribe button, and please comment, guys. I really appreciate, guys, the nice comments I've been receiving. I really, really appreciate it. So, guys, like I said, please like, subscribe, and comment also hit the bell so that you will not miss any video all right guys so guys i hope to see you guys on monday bye guys have a great rest of your day